Hi, this is Woody Woodpecker, and it's a Golden Key comic. It says baseball today, not holes, $5. It's sold for $0.35, cents, and um, it's from Walter Lance. And on the inside cover, there is a Win a Sears cartridge tele game system and Kellogg's stick up for breakfast contest. 2,000 winners. It has a list of cereals here. And this is number 167 from June 1978. And the first story is Walter Lance Woody Woodpecker Mystery in the Mansion. Look how the post office mauled your mail, Woody. That envelope has more wrinkles than a pound of prunes. It's even got a heel print on it, and it folds funny. Well, just so I can read the letter, it's from my old recluse uncle, Withrow Woodpecker. Dear Woody, help. Please come to see me and prove that I'm not losing my marbles. Sounds serious. He must be in trouble. He Usually, he never invites guests. That night. It's sure a spooky looking place. Sinister is the word. You kids read too many mystery stories. It's just a big old house with a monstrous spider web on the gate gulp. Most uninviting. In the Nancy Clue mystery stories, the heroine usually slips over the wall like this. Well, since we were invited, I guess it's okay. Now to the house and see what's up with Uncle with brow. Look, a letter folded like a paper glider, question mark. It's from Uncle Withbrow, and it's addressed to you, Woody. The first letter had the same kind of folds, and the wording is identical to the one I received. What does it mean? It means Uncle Withbrow sailed more than one letter through the air from his house, hoping to get one over the wall. Hey, Here's still another letter addressed to me. He finally got one over the wall, which was picked up by a passerby and mailed. Ralph. Huh? Now what? Those dogs look like they mean business and not monkey business. Grr. Ralph, Ralph. No time to reach the wall. Quick, up a tree. Scat, go away. Somebody's coming. Grr. Rarf. Fang, razor, sit. You prowlers are lucky. These are ferocious dogs. But we're not prowlers. My uncle invited us, see? Hmm, so he did. Greetings. I am Rhett the butler. How about butling us into the house? Follow me. I'll announce you to your uncle. He or hasn't been feeling too well. So I understand. Sir, you mustn't come out and arouse the dogs. Grr. Hi, Unc. I know, but I saw Woody coming. We need the dogs because of prowlers. Uh-huh. And here's an advertisement. I'm going to move this. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Daredevil in the Peachy Keen Caper. The Bergendorf jewel's taken, but my super sensitive sense is telling me that the thief left his calling card a fresh peach. The Bergendorf heist was a peachy job, peach, smooth as a peach. I ain't called Peachy Keen for nothing. Have a peach. The trap is set and waiting for Peachy Keen. He's coming. My radar sense, sense is zeroing in on Peachy Silhouette. Now to wait until the moment is right. As a connoisseur... The peach fruit filling in these Hostess fruit pies is really peachy delicious. I think I'll have another. This light tender crust is a real beauty too, peachy. Hostess makes great apple and cherry pies. Couldn't they have stopped there? I'm glad they didn't. I knew Peachy Keen would never be able to resist the fresh fruit filling of Hostess fruit pies. It takes a real peach to know one. You get a big delight in every bite of Hostess fruit pies. Are you sure the dogs aren't meant to keep you inside, Unc? It tends to work that way and that gulp other things. Gong. Oh, no, it's the time again. Time for what? Where are you going? To hide from the giant spider. Tell me if you see it, too. Then I'll know if I'm really losing my marbles. But the lights just went out. They go out e whenever the spider comes. Eek. There is a giant spider in the hallway. Its eyes glow. Then it's true. 
Well, I say, let's have a closer gander at the giant spider. Yow, a giant web. Woody's caught. Help. Heave ho. Oof, thanks. Thud, ug, irk. <laughs> hey, the lights are back on and the spider and his web are gone. That does it. I've had it with this creepy joint. I'm leaving. But Woody? Question mark. Let's hurry while those mutts are still tied up. Grr. What about poor Uncle With Witherow? We're out of sight now. Get down. Ah, you were faking retreat. Yep, now I'm going to sneak back and get to the bottom of this. If you come, Knothead, Splinter, check the door to the next room. Shh, I hear the butler talking to Uncle With Withrow. Mr. Fortnite is waiting for you in the library, sir, with a new offer to buy your estate. Sigh, very well. Tell him I'll be there in a few moments. Let's get into position in the library. Nobody's here. Someone should show up any minute. Let's hide. A secret door opens second later. Good. The old bird isn't here yet. Mr. Forthright, I guess. I'll sell you to, though the price is dirt cheap. Great. The papers are ready to sign. Huh, Woody? We smell a rat, Uncle Clomp, Bud, Bonk. Your butler, who was trying to buy your house for a song. Rhett. Rhett is arrested and he let down this cardboard spider painted in glow-in-the-dark eyes. Ditto. This frame of elastic cords he passed off as a spider web. With all the stickum washed off, it makes a dandy trampoline. The end. The next story is Walter Lance's Woody Woodpecker in Hoodoo Head. Everything in the mountains is perfect except, hey, I can use a few of these goodies you have. Sorry, we don't want to sell anything. Who's buying? I'm taking. Got any objections? Gulp or no? Grr, if he was, weren't such a big bruiser eyed, it's getting so even in the wilds you aren't safe from ripoffs. Well, we can still enjoy our camp out. It won't be so easy with half our stuff gone. Finally, boy, I'm going to get going to sleep good tonight. Me too. It's so nice and quiet. Clumpity, clump, clump. Huh? What? Thud. Look out. A stone head. It must have rolled off the back of a truck on the road above us. Oof, it's too heavy to carry back up to the road. I'll put up a sign there in case the owner comes looking. Miles away, however. I did it, Myrtle. Lost that hoodoo head. We're free of its bad luck jinx. Thank goodness. The curse may be doubled for anyone who gives away the head, but there's no rule against losing it accidentally off the back of a truck. You should never have bought that home from the jungles of Jinxalia. Good riddance. And here's some advertisement, The Adventures of Grit Boy. And then here's Let the Force Be With You. Get a Star Wars t-shirt and poster. And here's Iron On Initials in Fabric, four for a dollar. Washable, color fast, cleanable, all letters, same size as love. So, red size. <laughs> Order your groovy initials, act now. Next morning, Stonehead found. Seems like nobody is looking for it, Woody. Might as well go back down to our camp. I thought the head could be a valuable relic. So I cleaned all the dirt off. Its eyes really shine now. Blanc, look out. Of all the places a pine cone could fall, it had to pick me. Whoops, be careful. Stop. You're rolling toward the cliff. Yow. We'll get a rope down to you, Woody. Hang on. I will, I will. Catching hold of that scrub oak was lucky, but falling off the cliff was unlucky. Ever since I looked this dumb head straight in the eye, I've had bad luck. Whoops, here I go again. Trip, watch it. What's going on here? Maybe you're jink because you looked into its eyes. Well, if that's what it is, I'm not going to take not taking any more chances. Don't glance at it, kids. And here's advertisement for uh, Be the First to Own the Official Star Wars Watch by Bradley. Adult size 1975, junior size 1675. Excite the new exciting flip it, collect them all, only 75 cents each. Fly, fly it, toss it, flip it, lands on its feet.
I'll dig a hole and we'll bury this troublemaker with our eyes closed. There, I feel better already. Pat, pat. Now we can start enjoying this camp out. But that night, sniff, sniff, zzz, snort, clunk, thumpity, thump, thump. Oh no, thunk. Not again, it's back. Don't look at it. Wait, some words are carved on the bottom. Double the ill fortune of the curse will follow whoever sells or gives away this stonehead once it is in his possession. Then last night, somebody must have accidentally deliberately lost it to get it out from under the curse. Morning again. What now? We've got to accidentally lose it somehow. But how? What if a certain big bruiser took it from us? Yeah, then you'd be free of the jinx. There he is now, but he wouldn't want an old rockhead. He'll ha we'll have to make him want it. Bonk. Uh-oh, and no more time to waste. Yahoo, yippee, joy of joys. What's all the ruckus about? And here are some more advertisements. Foreign coins are fun. Collect them, trade them. Get this great Coins of the World collection, only $3.45. And these are stayons, denim embroidered iron on stayons, $1 each. Get these groovy embroidered iron ons. Or nothing really. The sack we found is actually worthless. Is that so? That's right, the rock head inside is junk. If it's so worthless, then I guess you won't mind me taking it. No, don't. You'll be sorry. I'll be the judge of that. Mission accomplished. It worked like a charm. Ow! Crack. There he goes already. Help, give me a hand. Nobody should have that much bad luck. It's a hundred feet down to the river. Help. What can we do, Woody? We can't just leave him out there. Come on. Come and get this rock head. I'll share it with you. Let it go. We don't care. No, I can't bear to let a precious relic go. Snap, crack, pop. Better drop it before you drop. Okay, smart move, sort of. You'll make it now, but you can expect more bad luck, huh? Since he got rid of the head deliberately, he'll have twice as much bad luck. I'd better tell him how to get out from under its jinx. Take my advice and pull that head from the river, then have someone steal it from you. Or how come? You'll find out. Ha, 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 rumble, crackle, question mark, yap, yap. The next story is Woody Woodpecker in Getting the Scoop at the Daily Blab. Bring me an exciting story, Woody, and I'll give you a tryout as a reporter on our city news beat. Thanks, Mr. Kane. I'll scoop all the other papers. But hours later, it sure is a slow day for news stories. Scoops are scarce. And how? I thought there'd be lots of newsy things happening. Whoops, there are things are starting to jump. Bomp. Oof. All right, who's the wise guy? That monkey, there he goes. You can make this your news story, Monkey Flattens Reporter. Cheat. Help, somebody stop that thief. What happened, mister? The rascal snuck up on me and took my diamond ring. Wow, that is a story. I'm a reporter, sir. Just give me a description. When you see one monkey, you've seen them all. But a monkey wouldn't do such a tricky thing unless someone unless someone trained him to do it. I'll pay you $200 reward for the return of my ring. Great, but mostly I want the whole story for my paper. Splinter, you call the police and report all this. By the time they get here, we'll know what the deal is. Be careful. Meanwhile, not far away. Good work, Mutsy. Hide in here with me until the heat's off. Have you seen a monkey come this way? Nope. Well, there's a $200 reward for return of the diamond ring he stole. Reward? 200 bucks? Hot dog. That's for me. Gangway, I'm looking for that monkey. Same here. You look someplace else. I've got dibs on this alley. Bop. Those blabby woodpeckers. Now a whole crowd will be snooping around. Chee chee. Shh. Not a peep. You've got to keep quiet. This is turning into a big story, an exclusive scoop if we can want it up before the police and other reporters arrive. We can't stay here. Get into these old clothes and let us see if we can sneak away. How's it going, Woody? Nothing yet. Keep looking while I ask more passerby. Passersby. Hey, folks, wait just a second, please. Uh-oh. We're looking for a thieving monkey whose master is probably the real crook. Sorry, I've seen no monkey. Here's an advertisement. Um, super pocket toys. Your choice, $1.50 each toy value.
How about you, ma'am? Or mama has a sore throat today and can't talk today. Goodbye. Okay, thanks anyway. Psst, Woody, either that's a new coat style or a mama's got a tail. The monkey and that guy's his trainer. He looks tough. Do you think we can handle him? Don't worry, we'll get plenty of help. There's the monkey man. Stop him. Question mark. Erk. The monkey barn. Where? Over here. Get him. Don't let him get to that alley. There's nobody blocking the other end. Ha! This way, Mutsy. Hurry, he'll escape. Woody, you tipped him off. Bonk. Oof. I've got him. I've got him. I've got him. No, he's mine. Here's the ring. I told them about the reward, mister. Thanks. Then you can all sh share it. At least that crook's money business didn't pay off. Groan, you said nobody was blocking this alley. There wasn't. I just forgot to mention the fence blocking it later. You're hired, Woody. Do a follow-up on the monkey being kept at the zoo. You've got it, boss. I hear the zoo is rehabilitating the monkey. He's doing just fine with more rings. It's hard to teach an old monkey new tricks, but they're sure trying. Ha 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 ha. Chi, chi, chi. And here's an order form for our authentic Star Wars t-shirt. Star Wars, may the force be with you. Adult size, $5.50 each. Children's size, $5 each. And here's an advertisement for three complete fishing outfits. Nationally advertised 1978 models. Loaded tackle box, 66 deadly lures. Everything you need to go fishing at once. All three outfits, $14.95 deluxe model. You get everything shown in this ad. In the back cover has advertisement for sea monkeys. Only $1.25 plus postage. Thanks for watching.